Tank Lit, Jason Lit, 2015, Part 9, Tank Lit vs. Mental Illness Seminar. So at the end of Part 8 video, discussing, you know, micromanaging myself now instead of just the movements, I'm micromanaging my movements via the camera surveillance recordings and how I'm starting to doubt myself. And when you can't trust yourself, you really become your own worst enemy and shit. Thinking maybe, I think the pants are displaced in the room because someone displaced them, someone other than me. And then start realizing maybe since the cameras never show anyone else in the house, unless they got some invisible, maybe they put some cream on their bodies that make them invisible on the camera. Like some stealth shit, you know, make them opaque and shit, or whatever that word is that can make them like invisible to a camera. Maybe they was coming in there. Maybe they knew I got cameras and they 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 put some shit so they not appearing on cameras. But the little common sense I got tells me if no one's showing up on the cameras, even though I really believe they're getting in there, maybe they're doing some Ocean Eleven shit. Maybe they're freezing the cameras. And they coming in there, and I'm watching like a still recording. Like, it looks like it's a still and no one's going through there because they actually froze those, you know, zone, the camera zones and shit. So I'm looking in one room, thinking, okay, no one's in there. That means no one was in there. Maybe it was just a still shot. I got that theory. And really believe in those theories too, by the way. And that's part of the mental illness. You can't stray and from crazy thoughts and conspiracy theories, you know. You know, you start thinking that stuff's a reality. Uh, but the little common sense I had, I'm starting to think, well, the healthy thought is to just go with what, you know, sometimes they say, if you got to work really hard to find the answer to something, then that probably means, or, or like, or what is it, the, the path of least resistance is probably what is actually happening. Meaning, if it's so intricate of a theory to prove something happened and still can't prove it, maybe that path of least resistance, like the simple explanation that nothing actually is happening and no one's really coming in the house. So that's the easier explanation to arrive to. The more simple one, maybe that's actually the truth. So the little common sense I have, I, I, I stick to that. And I'm like, okay, so that's the truth. But then if that's the truth and I'm still suffering and have all these paranoias and conspiracy theories, then, you know, I start doubting myself since I'm the only one in there as the enemy. And I start... You know, not trusting myself. Maybe, you know, I think someone's coming in the room and displacing the clothes and taking them from this, the pair of pants from that side of the room and putting it to another side to see if, uh, you know, maybe so that I would start doubting myself. You know, or to fuck with me or to see if I would notice. That, that's what I was thinking at first. And I started thinking, well, the camera's never showing that anyone's doing that. Maybe I'm the one absent-mindedly picking up the pants, putting it here, and then forgetting because I've got such bad memory and I'm blacking out. As soon as I do something, I black out after doing the task and don't remember it. Like on some Memento shit. That dude in Memento, he had to write down what he wanted to do or what he did, so that was the only way he could remember that he did is he actually wrote notes on his hand. And my brain started being like memento and shit. And I'm thinking I blacked out and maybe I did something and I just forget. Like have no memory. Like my memory erased on some Men in Black shit. Like the movie Men in Black where they erase your memory. And I'm doing things and just don't remember it. Maybe that's where my illness has evolved. Maybe that's a side effect of the medicine. It's just fucking up my memory capacity in my brain. So, if that's a reality that I'm 
the one moving the things around. I started micromanaging that on the cameras and inspecting myself. So I'm now no longer looking for intruders. I'm looking at the cameras to investigate myself to see actually that. I'm using it as a tool to measure my mental illness, measure my me memory problems. I can go back on the camera and see at 2 p.m. if I actually put the pants somewhere. And then I ask myself, do I actually remember that? And if the camera's showing that I put the pants there, that probably means I really did put the pants there. And I start to question, well, how come if the camera's showing that and I did that, how come I don't remember picking up those pants and moving them to the complete opposite side of the room? How do I not have a fucking memory of that? And the more those realizations come to me, I'm like, I'm just fucked up. It doesn't matter if someone's been coming in and fucking with me, poisoning me. I'm obviously fucked up if I don't have memory of like simple things like that. And so I'm just getting more and more boxed, you know, each day. And it's just becoming no life to live. And so, you know, it's just, you know, when you focus like that, like on stupid shit, and missing the world. Like, I'm home studying my cameras instead of going out and fucking enjoying the movie at the movie theater like I did when I was younger and shit. You know, going out, hanging out with friends. Like, whatever friends haven't left me because I got so crazy, the little friends I had left. You know, go hang out with them when they invite me to do something social. Like, I became a hermit. Like, my way to control not being attacked was just to stay in my home where it seemed safe, and then I no longer felt safe in my house. It's like it just followed me wherever I went, whatever I was afflicted with, ghosts, whatever, you know, conspiracy groups, Freemasons, Illuminati, whoever the fuck they are, you know? And so what I want to show you, I think I'm going to show you in the next video, Part 10, I think this is part 9, part 10, I'm going to show you something that happened today. Um, and before, you know, this video ends, I just want to say, so these types of things that I've laid out for you, you know, this train of thought, the way I mentally think about things, routines I've engaged to cope with my illness, that it sometimes were just really stupid, neurotic things that made me worse. They weren't protecting me. You think, I thought watching a camera was protecting myself, it really was torturing myself further, losing out on life even more. You know, the last year I made a lot of improvements on my paranoia and OCD. You know, I'm taking my meds, even though I have a lot of theories against medicine, I just decide it's the lesser of two evils, I'd rather not go to the hospital. So if it takes fucking medicine to keep me out of the hospital, as much as I'm angry that I have to take medicine, I take it. So I've been real diligent. I take my meds all the time. There's plenty of meds that I take. I take them all, like clockwork. I get good sleep. I go to bed early. I get up early. I've done a lot of things to keep myself straight mentally. And I'm doing more things in my life. As a result, I have gotten mentally healthier. And I've gotten physically healthier. healthier. And the OCD has been hard to stray from. All the routines that I do with my OCD. So I think the paranoia caused the OCD. The OCD was a, a defense mechanism to protect myself from everything I was paranoid of. So I had to let go of the paranoia, in a sense, to then let go of the OCD. So I had to improve the paranoia to improve the OCD. It's been a wicked process. It's still not completely done. I'm going to show you something that shows that even today, January 31st, 2015, I am not cured or healed with all I've done to get healthy and the strides, huge strides I've made to get healthy. I'm not better, completely better. Let me see if this camera is still recording. It is. I don't know why I keep thinking it's not. So, 